welcome, welcome, welcome to my little live. It's a, it's a, you know, you know, a gentleman's pipe, which I love. I love, um, gentlemanly things. Um, so let me just put this here. I can't talk it. This actually has like soot in it, which I think is amazing. And I think the, uh, what's it called? The top opens, but I'm just sort of afraid to jiggle it. But let me get, let me show you closer so you could see more of it. I do believe this top opens. I just can't, I'm afraid to do it. I don't know. What do you think of this piece? I think this is like quickly going to become like my, my all time favorite. Just look at that. I think it's called a humidor. I don't know. I think that's what the lady said. And again, I don't know who the maker is. I wish I did. Um, but I love it. It's a cool piece. I'm going to put that down here while I go to the next. This is actually a, a, a trio of pieces. The name of the artist here is Marie Luce Pelletier, French from French Canadian. Um, three pieces of pottery I got from, from her collection, from her pieces. I mean, what I love about these, and I didn't even realize... I just love the finishes on these pieces and obviously the sort of the design. I love the design work. Look how intricate that is. It's just so freaking cool. Um, and I am all about sort of like the browns. I love crock pots. And this just now is a perfect like piece to go to my crock pot collection, my brown and tan pieces. And of course, anything that opens is just, just makes me go crazy. Um, so this is three pieces. I love this one too. I just love this one too. So these are three pieces. One, two, three that I got. Um, thank you, Everly. It, it is, um, these are beautiful. Am I noticing a little crack here? I sort of, no, it's not an imperfection, but, um, I, I, I mean, I love these two together. And then these, this will go kind of with my, my, um, my croc collection of brown, brown pieces. You know, I also found an amazing artist and I'm going to put these pieces out because this is really an assemblage. These belong together, seen together. Um, they're not as finely made as the pottery in the back. Um, but I just love it. Her name is, her name who made this is, her name is, she comes from Brazilian miniatures, Ivani Grande. And I'm going to put links to all of their channels um, in on, on my Instagram account. Because that's really where I believe this belongs. So there's this assemblage. And then there's there's this. Also, these three pieces. I, I just love her work. And these are sort of like not really expensive. Which that's... I, I can really appreciate that. Um, you know, I just... I love the design. I thought they were Italian, not Brazilian when I first saw them, but they're beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? I'm gonna put those here so you guys can see them off to the side um, as I begin to assemble more of the pieces. This is another piece. Now, this is one of my favorite artisans. Her name is Laura Crane. And these, her, uh, this, I have more pieces by her. This is her, um, her hydrangeas. I have them in blue. So I had to sort of, find them in this and another color. Aren't they beautiful? They're just beautiful. And again, these are like these pieces, not super expensive. Like this was like $32. That's not bad for an artisan piece. So she, now she does silk, sh silk sh flowers in full size. That's her, um, that's her, uh, her day job, but she makes a lot of beautiful miniatures. So Nate, you want to create miniatures and sell? Where would I start? That's a great question. Um, and funny enough, I am planning to produce, put together a, a free webinar for artists. So follow me because in the fall, I'm going to assemble some artists to, uh, to kind of sit on a panel to talk about how artists can get involved in making miniatures full time. Follow me, Nate, because that is something that I, that just came up and I'm planning to do in the fall. So follow me, follow me for, for that, because I mean, 
I, my whole and my whole reason for being is to support the miniatures world and promote the miniatures world, and it starts with artists. And I think we need to get more artists in to be creating miniatures. And um, so I'm glad you asked that question because look, look for it, look for more in, uh, look for that in the future. So that's that piece. I mean, I bought these little blocks. I thought that I would kind of like do that. I didn't know if I had to. What do you guys think? I don't know, just for my little live. Um, so next up, mm, what should I show next? I'll show something really little and cute. <laughs> um, I'm from Brooklyn, so the seltzer bottle is big, was big growing up. And I, I saw this and I kind of had it have it. I don't, I think it's a little off broken maybe. It's just crooked, but isn't that fun? Everly, I have dollhouse embellishments. Thank you uh, for that word. Um, embellishments. Um, you be happy. Yes, Nate. So definitely we'll look for that. Good. Thank you, Everly. And Nate, yeah, um, it's possible to make a living making miniatures. And so that webinar that I'm planning to do is definitely all about that. All right. So I'm a little disappointed because I'm figuring out that I'm finding out that this is crooked, but I really don't, it's not gonna, I'm not, it doesn't bother me that much. I'm going to see if I can move it. Yeah. I think I'm able to do that. Uh, I think I fixed it. I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, another thing, this was sort of also inexpensive and then I get something great. Um, there is a, a, a there are, uh, folks who sell miniatures called Ferranti miniatures and they, they do, they're resellers. And I just found this beautiful, I, okay. If you don't know me, haven't followed me, I love boxes. So I'm obsessed with miniatures, but I'm obsessed with any, I'm, I'm more obsessed with, um, tiny things that open to reveal something. And I'm not big on the sewing thing necessarily, but I kind of love this box. I think it's a really well-made box and there's lots of moving parts, which I love. Um, and it's not, it's not a super awesome miniature, but it was really inexpensive and I kind of had to have it. I mean, this is just one of the ways that, which is why this is just so inexpensive is, is there's no hinges on here. This is like literally tape. But it's pretty, it's well made, it's got a good finish on it. I believe it's real wood and um, I like it. I'm not gonna, I don't, I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm not hating on it and I had to have it. So, all right, so this is probably my most favorite miniature that I bought this weekend at the Tom Bishop Show. It is a real leather satchel. It was made by the team of Marie and Michael uh, Cruens. They have a company called Minis to You. This is a leather satchel. And if you know, if you've been following me, I just purchased a leather satchel. I know, gasp. <laughs> I know. I purchased a leather satchel from an Italian maker. I think these Minis to You is out of the Netherlands. So this is my second satchel. I will be looking for a third because everything now has to happen in threes. Um, but look at that. Look at the leather work. This is all real leather. It's so super thin. I can't even tell you. Not only that, it, it's, it's lined on the inside. Look at that, which it's fabric. That is fabric. I asked her if it was paper. She said, no, it's fabric. Um, look at that. Can you see? Um, this, this actually closes. You need to have, um... It's lined, I know. Oh my God, it's lined. And and it's not only lined, but it's lined so tastefully. <laughs> and it kind of has wear and tear to it, which I think is purpose, right? You think that, I think that's purposeful, right? To um, have it be lined, to make it look aged and worn. But uh, these actually go into here. And so you can close it up. I don't think I'm going to even play that game, but let's see what it looks like a little bit closed. How cool is that? I don't know. It's pretty cool, right? It's lined. I know it's crazy. And actually now that I'm, I have it and you know, seeing more of it, I'm noticing this little element, uh, uh, branding maybe is it on both sides? No. Um, it's just, this is, this is, uh, this was the first thing I saw at the show and was the first thing that I had to have. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to put that there. Maybe I'll put it in the middle. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll put it here so people can see it. You can see it better. -er. Hold on. That, that, that. Um, hold on. Oh, let's do this. All right. 
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oop, shaky, shaky. Let's put this here. I'm, I'm all about the freaking mar merchandising and marketing. I shouldn't be, but because I'm really, this is just a show and tell. All right, what else? Um, hold on, because there is more. There's three more pieces I want to share. There's three more pieces that I want to share. Actually, I want to share this really quickly. This was like, this was a thank you gift for posting from the Brazilian miniatures lady. She gave me this as a gift. Isn't this lovely? I just love it. I told her I was going to post and she was like, here, have this. I mean, this is just perfectly charming and I love it. I love it. I love it. So, and I'm very thankful to her because, you know, it's these artists, they work hard. They really work hard. Can you do a still of the bag? And it's a little, mm, it's a little disc. Um, I'm definitely going to shoot that uh, as a still um, and probably post it on my Instagrams. Do what pieces come out, Nate? What pieces, what pieces? Oh, no, no, no. I know what you're talking about. No. So, yeah, yeah. This is all one big assemblage. They don't, they, the pieces don't move, which is fine, which is really fine. Vintagey stuff. Yeah, I just love it. We would like to ID it. I don't know what that means. All right. So another artist that I am completely obsessed with lately is Hannah Lemon. She makes the most beautiful miniature houseplants. And spoiler alert for any folks who are watching um, Best in Miniature uh, up in Canada. She did very well on that show. Look how beautiful this is. Just look at the freaking look at the leaves. Look at the dryness on this corner. Just look at it. It's beautiful. I can't even, I cannot even get over it. I'm going to put that there. Um, let's see. This is also, I mean, I mentioned I love boxes. I, I love boxes. And when I saw this, I was floored because uh, this is a rosewood box. It's actually a tea caddy. Look at that. Now, I'm not going to touch these because I'm not going to try to open these and I don't have my, uh, I don't have my, um, my tweezers. Hold on a second. Maybe I can find my tweezers. Maybe. See, I'm afraid to move stuff because once you start moving stuff, things fall and I don't want stuff to fall. But guys, I was able to I was able to get my tweezers just so we can open this. All right, let's just do another reveal open. This is what I love about box miniatures. Actually, you can see more of the finish this way. Um, look at that, just look at that. And then this is perfectly hinged with brass hinges. So it's very, very well done. And you can actually see the, the what's it called? It's the marks where the hinges and the nails went in it really is exquisite look at the look at the green look at i mean i love the camera actually on my on this iphone because it's showing all of the dust which i hope i want to clean it i don't think that worked that eh, worked a little bit um all right let's open it to reveal and then i'm gonna whoosh, who did it i don't even know where you'd buy parts to make them somehow i don't know i'm gonna take off take one of these off it's probably gonna go all over the place no it didn't look Ta-da! Ah, That's the tea caddy lid for that one. Let's see if there's anything in here. Wouldn't it be great if there was a surprise in there? No. Nope. Okay, nothing in there, but I'm still happy to have it. I mean, these, these lids are... I cannot even begin to tell you how thin these are. Maybe 1 32nd of an inch. That's how thin. Um, I'm going to say 1 32nd. That sounds like what it would be. We need some tea in there. We do. All right, so I'm going to close this because I'm going to get to my next uh, my next piece, which I wanted to sort of unveil and unwrap right here. Now, I've been following these guys for a long time. They're miniature pop-up books. They're out of Tokyo, and they make miniature pop-up books. Exactly that. Um, but look at, the, look at the packaging. But wait till you see the reveal, kids. Just wait till you see the reveal. All right, so uh, uh, packaging, right? Freaking A++++ plus 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 on the packaging. Oh, I'm just noticing this little booklet, which is kind of cute. Love it. I hate the word cute, but sometimes cute is the right word. Look, they give you instructions. All right. All right. 
here, ready for the reveal? Okay, so this was in like this. And here is the book. <laughs> Love the Mylar gold, you know, gold. What is it called? Oh, it's a Potter's House. Okay, so it's a Potter's House. I'm assuming it's a, because I just found this and I had to have it. I didn't really read too much, like what, what it was. I just saw that it was a house. All right, hold on, because we're going to, we're going to use my little tweezers to get this out, because I don't want to mess up the, all right, got that out. Which iPhone? 14. 14. No, God, no. I couldn't afford the 14. I went to try to trade this in and they wouldn't give me that enough money. 12, 12 Pro. All right, so that's, this is the inside. It's amazing, but I need the actual story in there. We ready? All right, this will be, this is going to be the big reveal. Oh, whoa. Wait, did I do it right? Hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, did you guys catch that? Uh, let's do it again. Wait, it's kind of... Oh, my God. It's got... It's got a torque about... Maybe it's a magnet. Yes, I think it's a magnet. See that? The girl who created this is freaking brilliant. Oh, my God. Let's do that again. I am like... I am just... I mean, I knew this was great. <laughs> and I knew I had to have it. But now, I'm like, the girl who made this is a genius. All right, so, because, oh my God. Yep, look, wait, yeah. Now the two sides are together firmly. This is incredible. Um, I think there, I think there's a little more. Wait, hold on. There's, you could see inside. I guess that is, I guess that is like the Potter Studio. I need more information. But there's, you, you ready for this? It gets better. Look. <laughs> oh my God, this is just bringing me so much joy. There is something in there. I don't know what it is because I really can't even see that far. But isn't that beautiful? I think it is a potter's. I don't know, what do you guys think it is? If it's a potter's house, does that mean it's pottery? I mean, that's like a little fireplace. Yes, duh, that's a fireplace for the kiln. <laughs> I'm answering my own questions. All right, I'm going to close this up now and and just put it back in its book so you can see how this works. It's just crazy. Look at that. This is definitely, I think this is my my best find for, um, for the weekend haul, um, for sure. But, you know, I did buy one other piece from that company. It's going to be hard to show because it's a kit. Um, but I'll try to explain what it is, but though this is a tiny kit, it's maybe this big by this big, it's an ink stamp kit. So you get the box and you have all these little slots and you have all these little ink stampers in miniature and you make the little, you make the little box. I think that's ultimately what the box looks like. All right, you guys, now I think it, 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 it was an adventure for sure, um, this weekend, uh, just, it always is an adventure going to these shows. Is there anything else you want to see again? I think the ink stampers do wor work. I really do. I believe, I believe they do. Let's go back to the Alexander, yeah, the little stamps. I think they work. I think they work. Let's go back to the, um, Alexander Contadoro. You want to see the bag? All right, let me just show you the, let me show you this again. Again, it goes back to like the big reveal. Look at that. Tell me that's not fabulous. All right, we're going to look at the tiny bag. Isn't that beautiful? Love that, love that, love that. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna put this over here. So this was my show haul. Um, I don't usually have this many pieces, but a lot of these were really not that expensive. Um, this was probably the, the most expensive piece. This was my, this was my, my, uh, like my, uh, you know, splurge, if you will. Um, the name of the maker, Again, is Marie and Marie, Marie, hold on. Um, Marie and Michael Cruens, minis to you. Can you see the hydrangea? Absolutely. Um, all right, so the hydrangea is uh, Laura Crane. She's out of California, I believe. These miniatures I bought at the Tom Bishop show. It's the largest and longest running 
miniature show in the United States, if not the world. He's been doing this for 40 years. He puts on a beautiful show, artists from all around the world. Um, and he's got great, great distri- uh, uh, you know, representation for, for to find just some of the best miniatures on the planet. I mean, these some of these are. I mean, I would think like this is one of the most well-made miniatures I'm going to have in my collection. I mean, if you could feel the, you know, there's, there, there's a, a strength to this lid that you, you only have to feel to, 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 you need to feel it to understand it, how well made this is. Yeah, Everly, the Tempest Ship shows are great. I don't know if it, that, that would be great if he comes to Houston. He used to do many, many more shows and um, he's narrowed that down over the years. Um, but we need to get the show circuit back uh, up and running to have more shows more often, more places. Um, but this is really a very, very, very well-made miniature. Um, and you can't really, you can see its beauty, but you really need to feel it. Is it a tiny, well, it's it's a, it's not an urn box. It is a tea caddy. So you're supposed to fill this with, with tea, I guess. All right. Is there anything else you guys want to see uh, before I maybe sign off? Because it's kind of getting late. It's uh, uh, wearing a rainy night in New York. Um, Hannah Lemon. I'll well, do a quick, quick recap. Hannah Lemon, beautiful house plants, unbelievable, um, unbelievable uh, d- d- detail, and she's got a house full of real house plants, so she gets it. I found, I found what really, really beautiful pottery. Uh, her name is Marie Louise. Pelantier out of out of Canada, French Canadian. Um, but yeah, I found beautiful pottery. I found just beautiful other sort of decorative objects. You know, not expensive at all. This was like eight dollars. Okay, so you you know. You-